Hey friends, it's Coach Smith here. We're gonna do another amazing yoga video for you guys on Monday, April 27th. So we've decided to do another yoga video just because y'all loved it so much. These are new poses. We're gonna hold each pose for a minute. So follow along with us and Coach Henry will be describing what pose we're doing and just follow along. Have fun! Alright guys, the first pose we're going to do is the child's pose. You're going to get down on your knees. Your head is going to be on the ground. Your arms are going to lay by your side right behind you. Just try to fully relax. Great job. Our next pose is called the Cobra Pose. You're going to lie on your tummy, place your palms flat next to your shoulders, press into your hands, lift your head and shoulders off the ground. So Smith, your elbows are going to come down. Perfect. Keep your head lifted and your palms pushing into the mat. Great job. Our next yoga pose is called the happy baby. You're gonna lay on your back. You are gonna have your chin tucked in, hug your knees into your chest, grab onto your ankles, and you can rock back and forth if you want, like a little baby. Nice, Coach A. Or you can stay still like Coach Smith as he grabs onto his ankles. <laughs> Awesome job. Our fourth yoga pose is the reclining butterfly pose. You are going to lie on your back, bend your knees, I'm sorry, bend your legs and bring the soles of your feet together. Take your arms out to rest at your sides and let your whole body melt into the ground.
You should feel this stretch in your legs. the triangle. From a standing position, step one foot back, placing the foot facing slightly outwards. Take your arms up parallel to the ground, bend at your waist, tilt your upper body, reach your front hand to gently rest on your shin or your foot, and reach your other arm straight up. Our next yoga position is called the cat. Come to all fours, round out your back, and tuck your chin into your chest. Pretend to be a kitty cat. <laughs> Good rounding, Coach A.
yoga position is called the warrior three. Stand on your leg, extend the other leg straight behind you. Bend your torso, reach forward with your arms, and really squeeze your tummy, squeeze your abs so that you can find that balance. It's okay if you can't lift your leg up very far. That's your choice, how high you lift your back leg. Well, you're doing great. About 15 more seconds. Great job. Our next pose is called the shark pose, but we also call this the Superman. You're gonna lay straight on your tummy. You're gonna lift up your back shoulders, reach your arms behind your back, and try to interlock your fingers behind your back, keeping your arms straight. Make sure that your head is off the ground and hold. Excuse me, our next pose is the Bob Sledder pose. You're gonna sit on your bottom with a tall spine. Your legs are gonna be straight out in front of you. Use your hands, well, yeah, you can place your hands right by your side, palms down. Tall spine, Coach Smith. Our next pose is called the model. Start uh, with your body in an L shape. 
bend your right knee and place your foot, your right foot over the other side of your left knee. Check that your spine is straight and your right foot is flat on the ground. Twist your upper body. Take your left elbow to your right knee and your right hand behind you. Woo! That was a lot. Yeah, we do this stretch in soccer. So some of you guys should know this stretch. You guys have made it to the last pose. This is called the dead man. So you are literally gonna lie down like a dead man. Legs are spread out, arms are by your side, and just fully relax. Be proud of all you've accomplished these last 15 minutes. That's the end of today's lesson. I hope you guys had fun.